turn. All right, what in the world is this? This is a huge Atari case. You were here earlier on the Fox Business Network doing something. Mm -hmm. What is this? This is, I was doing a segment on tech from the 80s. And uh, a couple of years ago at uh, PCMag.com, we decided to take an Atari 130XE, a uh, well-known home computer from the 80s, crack it open, load a compact flash card in there instead of the, uh, load a compact flash card in there instead of the uh, disk drive port, and load about 600 games onto the thing. <laughs> then put it all into a uh, suitcase so that we could use it anywhere we want. <laughs> so, you know, if I, feel like, uh, if I feel like kicking into a game of Dig Dug at any given time... <laughs> that is I, I got my credit card ready. Who do I write up the numbers to? <laughs> Andy has his credit card out. He's ready. That is incredible. There we go. Yeah, this has, uh, I wouldn't call it every game ever done for the Atari 8-bit platform, but it's... Moderately close. It'll keep you busy for a couple of eh, decades. Now, this is not an emulator. This is not an emulator. This is an actual Atari 130 that has been uh, pumped up with a compact flash card and then built into a suitcase. Oh, my gosh. Nick, did you get a chance to play earlier? I did. How does it feel? It was like a blast from the past. It was like <laughs> yeah, these are the, 1987 uh, all over again. These are the actual Atari 2600 joysticks here, so you can have that gummy Atari joystick feeling. That is incredible. All right, let me see. All right, let's try to play Stump Sasha with the remaining few minutes and see if we can find a game that's on here. Andy, your favorite Atari game. Let's see if Sasha can find it here in his, uh, in his suitcase of love. That would probably be Tapper. Tapper. Ooh, Tapper. Let's see. The, let's the original see. Budweiser version, not the Mountain Dew uh, Pirates <laughs> Control remake. Okay, Tapper. here is Tapper.exe. Oh, wow. oh, oh, look at that. Okay. <laughs> let's play a little Tapper. Oh, no, it's Mountain Dew. Uh, yeah. Half Mountain. point. Oh, what a, all right, Nick, can you think of anything? Um, I'm absolutely positively sure he got it, but I would probably say Donkey Kong Jr. Okay. That's got to be on there. If it's not on there, then this, this whole Kong exercise Jr. is not. Okay. Let's, uh, I, have I just to, remember being a kid and like going up all the... You have to restart it when you want to change games. Yeah. Uh, boot yeah, that too. would be <laughs> DKJr.com. Not yeah. confused with your BK Jr. Um, um, oh, come on. You're wrecking my childhood dreams. Uh, it's come got on, a little, little, it's, yeah. come got on, a little buddy. Sometimes. <laughs> come put, on, little buddy. Put a quarter on top of the case. Uh, well, it was loaded, but it looks like that one might have become corrupted. My nostalgia, oh. my nostalgia trip is ruined forever. All right, I, I, all right, here's another one I want you to find. The One of the worst Atari games ever made, E.T., E.T. <laughs> is it oh. on here? That's oh. the one where they dumped like all oh, however many millions of copies of it in a landfill, right? Isn't right. It? Yeah, there's no. like that urban. Wait legend a minute. I don't yeah. think I don't think a, a P, I don't think a computer version of E.T. was ever done. Do you know if it was? Oh no, there no, it is. There it is. E.T.exe. Wow. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a game I owned. <laughs> <laughs> and how many hours did you waste playing oh. this bizarre, bizarre game? Is E.T. actually I, well, You know, I never could figure it out. I mean, it never made any sense to me. Let's see. I'm running around, and this there's is like a thing I have to pick up. Am I picking it up? Yeah. I'm doing something. Yeah, they made... All right, here's another one. Uh, mm -hmm. Andy, go ahead. You have another one on top of mind? Uh, Zevius? Zevi oh, yeah, that's in here. Hang on. Zevius. Uh, okay. I don't remember that. That was an easy one. I, don't know if I, I was hoping that you'd right. misspell it, and then I'd get a win. I don't know if I put it under arcade or sports. Let's see. Do you have Frogger on there, too? Oh, of you course. Might, yeah, Here's your Zevius. Zevius. Oh. oh, wow. Well, that's it. <laughs> Man. Whoever designed, whoever designed this game green on green. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a headache already. <laughs> All right, let's see. Load Runner. Do you remember Load Runner? Load Runner. Yeah. Oh, of course. Load oh, uh, what was that? Is Load that? Runner was super popular on the Apple II, I think. I loved it. On I had I had a Tandy. I mm -hmm. used to play Load Runner on that all the time. It was my Let's first. Let's see. I think uh, I put that under platform games. There yeah, go. Load Runner. Oh there man, I used to love this game. Uh oh. No, no. It takes is that how you remember? It usually What's takes that? Is This is just how I <laughs> remember. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh no! Here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh nope. No. Let's like see if anyone uh, in our yeah, chat room. Exactly. Oh, People are loving this. See, the reason, it, the reason it flickers sometimes on these old computers, sometimes they use the display buffer to load data. Oh, there we go. So you there see all this flicker while it's loading the data because it's actually using the display buffer to do so. Oh, there we go. But, yeah, here's your load runner. Load Collect runner. I used to love that boxes, game. Dig holes. I played that for hours, and one of the great features about this game is you could design your own levels, mm -hmm. your own boards. Um, all right. The suitcase of love. Sasha, I, here's what I'm going to demand. <laughs> 
Every time you're on the show from now on, mm -hmm. I gotta bring this. Bring you gotta bring your suitcase of love, and we'll try to play Stump <laughs> Sasha. <laughs> that so, they, you're, so they're gonna come back commercial. They're gonna see just like all kinds of Mountain Dew cans and like Doritos wrappers just all over the console. <laughs> Just a, pot, yeah, just a pile I got of next. Doritos. That's what this show will have descended into. Um, Nicholas Kolakowski from eWeek.com. Great to see you, Nick. What are you Sorry, working on? Right now, actually, I've been kind of stuck in Windows Phone, 7 Phone, mobile office <laughs> all the time. It's been uh, ever since that, ever since the announcement on February 15th. I mean, like, and granted, all we've seen is like just you know one little video and a couple of screenshots. But yeah. I mean, we've been guessing you know market impact stuff like that. I mean, it's been. Well, good stuff. Check out eWeek.com and check out Nick's writing there. Thanks so much, Nick, for Thank being you. here, as always. Sasha Segan from PCMag.com. Sasha, other than uh, your suitcase of love, what are you working on? Uh, we got some hot phone reviews up right now. The Motorola Devour just went up yesterday. I'm expecting a Motorola backflip review pretty soon, as always. Uh, we've got the latest phones and the latest apps on PCMag.com. Thank you so much, Sasha. Not to uh, distract you there from your game. And as always, Andy Anatko from the Chicago Sun-Times. Great having you on the show, as always, Andy. What are you working on? Well, we talked a little bit about digital comics, but beyond uh, that. that next, next week or a little after that, I'm doing that column on digital comics. It looks like I'm also going to be able to talk to the new uh, publishers of DC Comics about their future digital directions. That's going to happen in the next few days. So I'll be, once again, wasting my time and my readers on lots of things that are of interest to nerds, geeks, dweebs and other folks like us. Well, that's, that's why you're on the show. Uh, that's why you swim in the pool that you swim in. That's why I feel so good here. <laughs> and i got to get you back on the Grizzly Bear Egg Cafe because we talk about comics there, and I would love to get your perspective on what DC is working on in the digital comic space uh, sometime soon. So I would Absolutely. love that. Uh, that's going to do it for Gadgets and Games on this Friday afternoon. Don't forget, you can always download us on in the iTunes store in the Zoom Marketplace. We are fully up and running. The full video podcast is there and available, and you can check us out online on foxnews.com as well to get the full video. We'll see you next Friday, everyone, and I'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning on Fox and Friends in the Snow. See you, everyone. By hand. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember see you, Andy.